so hello everyone so welcome to the second session of nfs that is your network file system uh, so let me show you the slides so till now we have uh, learned about and we have seen the hands on part in nfs so to understand nfs we have done with the nfs server configuration and you have understand what is nfs and what is the profile for nfs but and uh, in this session we are mainly going to see how we can configure the nfs client configuration okay guys so let's start the session and let's do the hands on part and let's see how we can configure the nfs client configuration okay so in the previous session you have seen to configure the nfs server we have installed the nfs package right and uh, in order to configure the uh, nfs server we have created a directory called nfs underscore data and we have created a partition slash dev slash sdb6 and you have mounted the directory to that slash dev slash sdb6 and uh, in order to achieve that one we have formatted the partition as well right and we have also created some files inside nfs underscore data right guys <coughs> so let me show you once again so you can see i am in the nfs server right so if you can see if i do a pwd so you can see uh, nfs data is there right so under nfs data i have created some files the files are file 1 file 2 and file 3.txt is there and in order to achieve uh, that nfs server configuration we have made the configurations under slash etc export s file is there okay so which directory we are going to export to all of your nfs client so let me show you once again okay that is your export this is the directory and your directory is nfs underscore data and your network range is 192.168.222.0 and we have given the permission read write and i have explained why we have used sync option with that one okay guys fine so you have done all the configuration for nfs server you have uh, uh, started the services you have made the services permanently on at the run level and you have made your ip tables off now it's time to configure the nfs client okay so come to nfs client so here you can see the ip of the nfs client is 192.168.222.136 so configuring nfs client is very easy compared to nfs server because nfs client can be multiple it can be any it can be n number of nfs client but your nfs server should be only one right guys okay so in order to achieve or in order to uh, configure nfs client what you need to do is you need to check it that your yum repository should be up to date or not right so that is your task in the previous session also i have explained on this one how we can configure the yum repository right so here i am straight away going to install the nfs package nfs hyphen util right this is the package name for nfs whether it's a client or whether it's a server star and hyphen y hyphen y option is only because it's not going to prompt me whether you want to install or not it's going to install straight away yes so now we have done with the installation of nfs util package as a next step the second step you need to start the nfs service so how we can start the nfs service is nfs first you need to check the status so you can see all of your services are stopped so what you need to do is you need to do run start so your services is going to start so you can say it is telling that it is failed failed and failed so you need to do one thing if you are getting this kind of a error again and again just reboot your system initially then this error will not going to come okay guys getting my point so what i am going to do here is i am going to restart this nfs client so 
so just try try to come out of this one if it's not coming out just start a duplicate tab okay and here you need to do one thing is you need to reboot the system <clears throat> so it's going to take some time few minutes once the system will be up and running so you can again start the nfs services okay guys okay guys so i'm going to start the nfs client again so let's see it started or not so here you can see the nfs client is already started so <clears throat> now again start the services what services we need to see status correct so here it's telling that it is stopped so you need to start the services okay guys now this time you can see it's easily started right so if you are getting that as a part of troubleshooting you need to reboot the server there is no other option you can <clears throat> sort it out that issue okay so now now we have started the services your services is up and running so okay guys so here you saw that we have started the nfs service okay so let's see it's running properly or not okay status that is the command for that one so yeah all the services are running but again i am repeating same configuration you need to do it here also what configuration you need to make the services permanently on whenever the next reboot will happen so it should automatically up and running right guys so for that what we need to do is chk config is the command hyphen hyphen list and you need to check which service nfs right so you can see all the services are off so as a part of uh, make it permanently on uh, at uh, boot level you need to make this on how we can achieve that one is chk config nfs on right guys done so if you see that now it's on at <coughs> at run level 2 3 4 and five now so we have done with all the configurations for the nfs client right guys now you need to export which directory that is your nfs underscore data correct so before doing that one okay for the nfs client okay what we need to do is you need to check that your nfs server is your you need to check that which directories is exported for your nfs client and how we can check that which directories is exported for nfs client and which directory we have exported that is from your nfs server so there is a command called show mount show s h o w m o u n t show mount hyphen e so if you want to check which directory is exported for this particular nfs client or any nfs client you need to use the command show mount hyphen e in interviews also sometimes they will ask you this question okay guys and which the and you know there is only one nfs server so which ip you need to give it here 192 168 222.135 that is the ip of that is the ip of which that is the ip of your nfs server if i can show you once again here you see correct so your ip of nfs server is 135 right guys okay so so now let me show you so here you can see yes which directory is exported that is nfs underscore data from which ip that is 192.168.222. dot 135 now what thing you need to do to get all the files to this nfs client so you need to create a directory and you need to mount that nfs over it 
nfs that particular nfs underscore data to that directory so i am going to create a directory over here with the name mk <coughs> mkdir is the command called nfs for your understanding underscore data so we have created a directory you can see right if you want to give the full permission also chmod triple seven and nfs data so you will be better understanding you can see it here right and which nfs we need to mount over this directory right how we can do that one so there is a command for that one if you if you created a directory and if you want to mount that nfs over it you need to run the command called mount hyphen t nfs and you need to give the ip of your nfs server 192.168.222.135 correct and which directory that is your nfs right underscore data this is the directory right this is the directory if you see it here this is the directory right come up again yes here you can see okay so here you can see this is the directory and this is the ip right correct right, guys okay and you need to mount it over which directory which we have created just now right correct enter yes now it is mounted guys okay so if you do da-h you can see that the directory is mounted under nfs underscore data right and if you go inside which directory that is your nfs sorry guys uh it's my bad so just for your understanding i need to create the directory called nfs client for your understanding here also i have created the same directory name called nfs underscore data so i am just renaming renaming the directory so you'll be better understanding that so i'm going to move this nfs underscore data to nfs underscore client so guys you are getting this as a part of troubleshooting also uh you need to first unmount the directory then only you can rename that directory right so i am only just renaming for your understanding that how we can rename because i have created a directory nfs underscore data for nfs server and for nfs client i am going to create a directory nfs client but by mistake i have created with the same name guys okay so let me show you how we can create that so you need to unmount which directory you need to unmount that is your nfs underscore data now it's unmounted right so now if i want to rename this directory nfs okay to nfs client now i can do it so now you can see the directory is changed to nfs client but again you need to run the same command to mount it again that is your <coughs> mount hyphen t nfs and instead of this one i am going to use nfs client okay guys getting my point done so now if you do da hyphen h you can see your directory your nfs that is this is your exported right this is your exported ip an exported directory right so which is coming from your nfs server and this directory we have created in the nfs client and we have mounted this nfs server to this nfs client right so we have done with the configuration no because we have made a configuration which is temporary so next time reboot will happen so these things gets unmounted so to make this thing permanently mounted you need to configure slash etc fs type file but before to that one let me show you this nfs directory right under this directory if you see same files are there okay which i have created under this one right if you see if i do ll over here correct so you can see if i do a touch over here again 
and if i create a file for dot txt correct and just do ll same thing is going to sync over here see so it's going to take some time just wait for a few more minutes yes see i have created a file with the name file4.txt right so it's created here right you can see correct so that this is why we have used sync option in slash etc export as file right apart from read write permissions so now we have done with the nfs server configuration nfs client configuration but let me make this permanently in the nfs client we need to make this permanent okay guys go to the end of the line just do enter which directory we need to make it permanent which directory so we need to make the permanent that is your nfs client right guys correct but from which ip so from this one you need to give it here first okay just do a tab just give the okay and here you need to give file format ext4 okay default will be default only and 0 and 0 now even now if you do mount hyphen a you can see now df hyphen h so you can see it's mounted now it's permanently mounted so guys uh, you have understand how we can configure the nfs server and how we can configure the nfs client till now and uh, this is all about the nfs that is your network file system or sharing this is how we can share the files between your nfs server and nfs client okay guys so if you have any doubts or any queries you can write it down to me in the question answer section and i will be answer accordingly so thank you for watching this video